hello everyone welcome to our channel i hope everyone is doing great so today we are here with one more video in this video i'll be sharing you the mastercard interview questions so this video was contributed by one of our subscriber friend so recently he has an opportunity to had an interview with mastercard and he has shared the same interview questions what he has faced in the, in the interview process at my mastercard so was this video to get benefited so first question explain your roles and responsibilities so this is one of the mandatory questions that irrespective of your experience you will encounter this and as your experience increases this question become more and more tougher so i will be uh, sharing a different video where up to seven years experience how can we explain our roles and respond to we will say and uh, above that uh, we even we don't have experience that much so we won't be able to say that but we will definitely make a video on that like how we are uh, how to explain our roles and responsibilities so this was the first question and coming to the second question how to break down monolithic application to microservice architecture application so this uh, question can be answered in a different ways like firstly why we are going why we are breaking to microservice architecture and what benefits we are getting are we open to take the disadvantages that microservice architecture gives us so all these questions should be answered first then we can break the applications like into different services like each and every services each and every service is defined for one, only one job so we can break in that way the next question is what are the concerns need to keep in view while breaking down application to ms like microservice architecture so as i said like are we open to for the disadvantages and the challenges that we face is logging when the services are deployed in different machines and how we are doing the logging here and how we are maintaining the transaction management especially so th there are few challenges here concerns that needs to be answered how to do centralized logging so this i i'll explain it from my experience point of view so we use aws logging here so there is centralized logging so irrespective of the microservice everything will be all the logs files will be saved at one place so that is one approach and the other approach which we followed in our app, uh, other application was uh, we were defining a api for that logging api irrespective of the machine we, we we used to hit whatever we want to log we used to hit that api with that message that was one approach if we followed you can have your own answer here how to handle distributed transaction for asynchronous services this was one more question this is one more challenge when we go for microservice architecture so how you would handle the distributed transaction uh, right now the answer that is getting me two phase commit we can use what kind of testing is required for microservice architecture so basically unit testing and integration testing is required as far as i know uh, using jetty we can make integration testing possible here like complete flow of the microservice the next question is what kind of automated test cases will you write if your service is used by some other application so honestly i am not aware of it like what automated tested uh, are they referring the integration tests as well here not aware difference between normal and parallel stream when to use parallel stream so this is coming from java 8 i most of us might be knowing this the next question is how streams are better performing than for each so there is a big explanation for this or uh, why when like why streams are better than for each uh, we can give the answer in our own way everyone has their own presentations on this uh, explain about solid principle i guess so what is solid refer to so each has it own whenever we are designing a class we need to follow this principle whenever we are designing a class in java so if you are saying if you are an experienced candidate uh, 100% you should know about solid principles like why what is the importance of solid principles and at what all places it uh, while well, how how critical these are while implementing our changes or creating classes so next question is how will you write test cases to identify if someone has break 
open close principle honestly even i am not aware of it like how to write a test case to identify if the open close principle has been break so if anyone knows please do comment how to call a rest service asynchronously yeah we can use make use of rest template here i believe using or with there are annotations at the rate enable async first we need to use those things and there is a few steps that we need to follow to call a rest service asynchronously can we have two classes as annotated as spring boot at the rate spring boot application oh I mean, I am not sure on this. If you can have two classes annotated at the Spring Boot application, I suppose I feel we cannot have because JVM gets confused. I am not sure, hundred percent not sure on this answer. Can we have been with the same name in those Spring Boot applications? So this was the continuation of the previous question. Like if you are having two at the Spring Boot applications, can we have a been with the same name in those Spring Boot application? I'm not completely aware of this. Then there was a question on DB design task where a customer will give some currency and in exchange will get some other currency. So this is a DB design. How you would design a DB where an input is in some other currency like USD if you consider and the output should be in INR or any other for currency format. So this were the questions that were shared to us and this was the mail you can see. So this was sent to us on 23rd Feb. So going through the question, Mastercard interview questions. Explain your roles and responsibilities. How to break monolithic to architect microservice architecture. What are the concerns need to keep in view while breaking down applications to MS? How to de how do you decentralize log centralized logging? Sorry. How to handle distributed transaction for asynchronous service? What kind of testing is required for MS? What kind of automated test cases you should write? Difference between normal stream and parallel stream? How streams are better than for each? What are solid principles? Test cases for to check if open closes principle is break down. How to call async asynchronously? Can we have two classes that with the direct Spring Boot application uh, with same name being and the event task? So these were the questions that were shared with us and I hope this might be helpful to someone who is looking out for similar kind of questions or interview process. So if you like the video please do subscribe, like, comment, share and provide us the feedback and if you want to share us your interview experiences you can reach out to the email id that is given in the description and that's it from our end and coming to like who are we and what we do we are a bunch of software engineers who attend interviews and share our interview experiences through these videos and if you see uh, the company the mnc's names that are getting printed currently on your screen so up to now we have shared these many interview questions if you are on our channel for the first time you can visit our channel and you can have you can get benefited from the interview questions or interview process of different companies and that's it from my end and please don't forget to share this because this might help someone who is looking out for similar kind of videos and thank you for watching why do we ask our viewers or subscribers to share our videos the reason for starting this channel was to share real-time interview experiences a few years back when we were trying to switch our company we were not finding out a, a perfect answer like uh, what is the interview process at a respective company or what kind of interview con uh, like interview questions we may encounter in the interview at that company or how much salary we can expect there like how much we can say like what we can expect there so we were not finding it on any site even on the sites like glassdoor we were not able to find the complete picture there so we have started this channel and why we ask you to share is and we believe that there are many other like us who want to know like similar kind of things so if you share this video somewhere someone will get an idea on the interview process or type of questions they are going to encounter in the interview and how much salary they can expect there so that is the reason we ask you to share our videos why do we ask our viewers to share subscribers 
the reason for asking is that there are n number of interview questions that we have already shared and there are many other interview experiences or interview questions which are there in the queue if you subscribe us uh, you will not miss any of the updates that we are publishing and one more thing is like we are working with uh, different members like with our friends who work on different technology stack like dotnet devops aws salesforce and very soon we will be sharing the interview experiences of on those technologies as well